Okay, we are recording. Awesome. Um, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us tonight. My name is Kristen Hine. And I know you're all busy. Um, we all have lives. And um, I just really want to thank you guys for taking time out of your busy schedule to learn a little bit about us um, and about Beachbody coaching. We're going to keep this as short as possible so everybody can get back to their lives and their schedules and their families or work or whatever else you have going on tonight. So um, a couple things throughout our presentation, you're going to be hearing from some of our coaches on, the on our team as they share their personal Beachbody story with you. Uh, if you have any questions as we go through this presentation tonight, please use the Facebook event page that we have set up already um, to post those questions on, and we will try and answer them as quickly as possible. Um, we're also going to be doing a drawing tonight, so anybody who's not a coach, um, if you're a guest here, we're going to write all the names down, put them in a hat, and pick one person um, at the end of the, at the, or after the presentation, and that person's going to get a special gift that whoever the coach is that invited you here will. Um, send out to you in the mail this next week. So we'll post the winner for that on our Facebook event page tomorrow. So just keep a lookout for that. Um, a, one last for, I guess, note before we get started. Technical difficulties, um, we're never without them. So if for some reason we have an internet drop or you lose your video stream or your phone call or whatever, um, if you're on video, hang on and hopefully it'll just pop back up after a minute. Um, if I drop, <laughs> Hopefully mine will pop back up after a minute. Um, it wouldn't be the first time, so be patient with us, um, and hopefully we'll be able to get through this without any uh, major technical difficulties. So just as a reminder, um, unless you're a host on tonight, please keep your line muted uh, so we can avoid the feedback, and that is it. So um, we're going to get started. Uh, so first of all, I just want to share a little bit about um, what is a coach and what do we do to help people? So first of all, uh, we set people up with their workout programs. Um, we're the number one home workout program in the company, uh, or excuse me, in the nation, uh, with workouts like P90X, 21 Day Fix, Hammer and Chisel, Insanity, uh, lots of others. You see them everywhere. Um, we have meal plans and Shakeology, which is our delicious shake, and we just added a new flavor called Cafe Latte um, that was just released, and it is incredible if you're a coffee lover. Uh, as coaches, we work people, or excuse me, we walk people through their journeys as along the time that we're walking along our own. Um, we develop knowledge to help their bodies change, and you don't have to be a fitness expert or nutritionist, but you can be if you want to. Uh, we hold people accountable through private groups on Facebook that are called challenge groups, and this way we build trust and communication and accountability with our clients. So a little bit about um, one of our team coaches here, um, I'm going to introduce Deb Gress. She's a coach on our team, and she's going to share a little bit about her personal story and um, then some other information for you. So, Deb, go ahead and take, a, take it away. Thanks, Kristen. Hi, everybody. My name is Deb Gress. Um, my beach body story, I became a coach in spring of 2012. Um, my childhood was pretty, I guess, normal, <laughs> normal and happy. I grew up in the Midwest, and I loved high school sports. And when I went on to college, I studied exercise science and health promotion because I loved fitness and I loved helping others. So then um, after college, I married my husband, Aaron, and I became a certified athletic trainer. And I worked about eight to 10 high schools around the area working with sports injuries. Um, right after we got married, my husband and I were – we're, we liked to stay fit and um, in shape, so we would go to the gym. We'd drive about half an hour to the local gym. We live in a rural community, and that was pre-kids, so we had time to do that. Um, our first son was born, and life went on. I continued to do my athletic training, and we did not have time for the gym anymore. Um, it took us an hour to get there and back, not to mention we need a babysitter. Um, thankfully, my husband, who is a little bit of an infomercial junkie, um, saw the P90X commercial and purchased P90X on TV. And that was our first experience with Beachbody and any kind of Beachbody products. So we used P90X for about a year. And then um, about two months before my son turned two, um, I had an experience that really changed my life. Um, one weekend, I started to feel a little numbness and tingling in the lower left part of my leg. And as the weekend went on, the numbness and tingling moved up my body, um, up to my left arm, and eventually landing in the left side of my face and head. 
um, I'd been healthy my entire life, so this was absolutely terrifying. And it was like I lost total control of my body because I had I had no control over where the numbness and tingling was going, or I, I couldn't stop it. Fortunately, I was able to get in to see a neurologist fairly quickly, and I was diagnosed with multiple scler excuse me multiple sclerosis or MS. Um, at the time, my son was going to be two in two months. Um, I worked full time doing a crazy athletic training job, and we also farm. So it was so terrifying. Um, some of the horrible thoughts that went through my head were, what if I can't play with my son? What if I can't raise my son or take care of him? Um, am I going to be able to help my husband on the farm? Um, can I work part-time? Will I be able to work full-time? Am I going to be in a wheelchair someday? I remember praying to God, you know, just please let me see 15 years into the future so I can just know that things are going to be all right. Um, it was just a horrible, horrible, um, scary time, but that changed something in me. Um, I just vowed after that, that never, ever again would I, I would do everything in my power to be healthy as far as nutrition and fitness, that no matter what happened, I was going to exercise to the best of my ability and I was going to do the best with my nutrition so I could be there to be mobile and be able to take care of my family. Um, so that was a huge turning point for me. Um, thankfully, life went on. I felt better. My symptoms disappeared. Um, my husband and I continued to work out. Um, we had our second baby, and that was another turning point for me. Um, here I was, a, a young mom with two young boys, and I was a full-time athletic trainer. And athletic training has very demanding, long, grueling girl, hours. I worked a lot of nights and weekends because I worked sporting events. And I would drop my kids off at daycare, go to work for the day, work an evening um, game or competition, and then come home and my husband would have the kids bathed, fed, um, bedtime stories read, and in bed. And sometimes this would go on for two or three days at a time. I'd get up, be able to get them out of bed, take them to daycare, and time to go to work. And it'd be three or four days would go by without really spending any time with them. And I remember... I would do a lot of driving back and forth to schools and I would just bawl because <laughs> I just felt like I was missing out on so much. I loved my athletic training job because it incorporated my passion for fitness and helping others, but I, my family, I just couldn't find that family and career balance. So I knew something needed to change. So shortly after having my second son, um, my husband and I decided I was going to get a job in town. Um, an eight to five job, which was great because then I was able to spend evenings with my kids. However, I was miserable work-wise because I was bored out of my mind. Um, I wasn't working in the fitness industry or the, the health industry at that time. Um, I was working in a bank, nothing against banks, but it was a different change of pace for me. Um, and I was basically dropping my kids off at daycare, going to my job, collecting a paycheck, coming home. Um, so I, I was happy 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 that I was able to see my kids but not as happy with my career so um, insanity came out my husband and I bought insanity on the infomercial again and we're still doing beach body beach body workouts and then along came my third son and when my third son was born um, after after he was born I decided okay this is baby number three this is it I'm done so it's time to get in shape and stay in shape for good um, so my husband and I um, started Insanity up again, and at the time my husband had found out he just, um, well, we just found out he had a gluten allergy or a wheat allergy. And for any of you that know anything about that, that means he can't eat bread, cereal, pasta, um, just a lot of different things. And he was really depressed because he's like, what am I going to eat? Well, lo and behold, after the Insanity workout was a Shakeology commercial. And Shakeology is a very um, is one of our best nutritional products um, at Beachbody. And um, my husband said, "You know what? That's gluten free. I can eat it. I'm ordering it." And I said, "Okay, whatever." So he ordered it. I was um, I was against. I I just I'd never done a protein shake. I'd never done a meal replacement. I was like, "Nope, not gonna do it. Don't. That's not for me." Um, He's like, you know, this would be really healthy for you. I did my research and found out the benefits of Shakeology. And four years later, we drink it every day. Um, about a month after we started drinking Shakeology, I found out about the coaching opportunity. And when I found out about the coaching opportunity, I did my research. And after doing my research, it was a no-brainer for me. 
Um, the coaching opportunity has allowed me to combine my passion for helping others, fitness, and my family. Um, I, I have to I have to say, um, Insanity and Shakeology did help me. I know the products work because it helped me lose 17 pounds after having my third baby. And what's even more impressive to me is over four years later, I'm able to keep that weight off and still be um, in pretty good shape. So the, the, the products are awesome. Um, when I learned about the coaching opportunity, I, I jumped right on board. And a few months later, I quit my full-time job in town. And I now work from home, which has been a huge blessing for me and my family. Um, my older two boys were always at daycare every day. My third baby, he um, has been home with me since he was one. And so we kind of have this special bond. We kind of hang out. We like to hang out a lot. Um, and it's just allowed me to create my own schedule. So I'm able to help um, able to help coach my son's teams, be involved in all the school activities, and not miss a thing. So for me, it's been a huge blessing. And I want to thank all of you guys for listening to my story, for showing up here. I know we've all we're all busy. And I want to say, you know, please just – um, really consider this opportunity because it has been such a blessing in my life. Um, so that's the end of my story. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about a common question we get about coaching, how we use social media as coaches. So when you start coaching, you don't have to know a lot of people or have a thousand Facebook friends or even live in a big city. I actually come from a really small town I think there's maybe 350 or 400 people in, my, in the small town I'm from. Um, I didn't have a ton of Facebook friends when I started. But what you'll do is we'll teach you how to share your own journey on social media. You won't be pushing products. You're just going to share with people your own journey on social media daily in order to build their trust. Just like you share with your friends or family your favorite book or restaurant or movie, you're going to share it with people about Beachbody. Of course, part of this means, of coaching means, you know, walking the walk. You're going to do the exercise programs. You're going to work on your nutrition. And believe me, we're not perfect. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect as a coach. We all struggle. Um, and you're going to drink Shakeology daily or use the products yourself. You're also going to invest in yourself through personal development because you want to be confident and positive. And people are attracted to to others that are confident and positive. They're not attracted, they don't want negativity in their lives. We all have enough of that already. So when you join our team, we will train you how to find new contacts on social media, and we're always gonna encourage you to grow both physically and mentally. So we're gonna train you on the three vital behaviors of being a product of the product, personal development, and inviting people to the opportunity or to try products. And one of the things I'm super excited about is just a couple weeks ago, our, our team released a new training app that you can download for free and have available on your mobile phone or mobile device. So you can be in your busy daily lives and you know take a few minutes here or there to learn the ins and outs of coaching from wherever you are. So now we're going to hear from Mitch Jones. Um, Mitch is going to give us his story. Hey, Deb, thanks for the introduction. I appreciate that. My name is Mitch Jones, and I have been a coach for four years. But most importantly, I am a husband and a father of two wonderful daughters who thankfully take after their mother, and they're highly intelligent. Um, they get their, their charm and good looks for me. No, I'm kidding. Um, here's where my journey started. Um, we sometimes receive those letters in the mail when your child has signed up for a YMCA or an athletic team. And the letter says, we do not have a coach. We're looking for a parent volunteer. So me being the sucker, um, I signed up to be the parent coach um, for a six-year-old soccer team. Bunch of little girls running around. So I first learned at my first practice that after about 30 minutes, I am over on the sideline, hands on my knees, bent over because I cannot keep up with these little girls. So that was my first trigger that says, hey, if I'm going to be a good dad and be around and be able to help them, I need to be able to run around with them and um, take care of myself so that I'm, I'm there for them. Another event was actually a series of events where I work. We do annual health screens, which includes blood draw, um, biometric screening. And over a three-year term, I realized that my 
blood pressure, my triglycerides, my cholesterol, uh, my blood sugars were all trending in the wrong direction. They were going up. So I needed to change something there. Um, the reason is, is heart disease runs in my family. Both of my grandparents have had, had open heart surgery. One of my grandfathers passed away from a heart attack. My mother has been on high blood pressure medicine for at least 10 years. Um, so that scares me. I need to take care of myself. And like Deb and many other people, we've seen that crazy infomercial for P90X. So I watched it, I don't know how many times, sitting on the couch eating bowls of cereal, bowls of ice cream, bags of chips, whatever it took. Um, but finally, one day I said, okay, I need to do this. I bought P90X from the infomercial. That's back before we even had Shakeology. So the program in itself, um, I figured, hey, if all these people can have those transformations, so can I. Now, I wasn't the person that was um, really overweight. I was just, you could say, kind of, I don't know what the term is, but not not healthy. That, we'll just sit, go with that. Um, but I bought the P90X, and what happened is it sat in the box on my counter or a shelf somewhere for at least 90 days. Um, finally, something triggered again that I needed to do something. I had all my ducks in a row. I had all the right equipment that I thought. I would planned out my meals. So I started. And the first round, I lost um, almost 30 pounds with P90X. And so my changing my diet, exercising, helped transform me. People started to notice. Um, luckily, a friend of mine who was a coach introduced me into the coaching opportunity and said, hey, you're having a great success with P90X. Why don't you share that with someone else or other people by becoming a coach? I said, no, that's not for me. I just want to do my thing. I'm busy. I'm coaching soccer. I'm coaching softball, volleyball. I work full time. I need time for my family. But he invited me to the opportunity webinar. Uh, we have, used to have one every Sunday night hosted by one of our upline top um, coaches. And every time he'd invite me, I'd sit in and watch the webinar and He'd ask me, well, what do you think? Are you ready to join the team? I said, nah, it's just not for me. Well, it took me a year of watching webinars, and I probably saw 24 to 30 of them before I finally said, okay, this is right for me. And it was triggered by something that Doug, who was presenting, told a story about his son. And that hit home for me because I wanted to be able to tell my daughter, who was wanting to um, – play volleyball in high school at that time, or potentially even college that, hey, I want this opportunity for you. So I need to change what I'm doing so I can give you that opportunity. And so that's what that the coaching opportunity for me has been. It's a not only a transformation for myself, but um, a couple quick stories I have are transformation for my customers. Um, met a lady through one of my websites, and she's in her early 60s. And she kept saying, I, you know, I just don't think this program is right for me. I don't, I don't think it's going to work for me. And she finally told me that she was in a wheelchair or used a walker at time just to move around her own home. And I said, well, the good thing with this program, and we were talking about the 21-day fix, is that each move is modifiable. So she agreed to purchase 21-day fix and Shakeology to supplement her nutrition. and she joined my challenge group, and after three rounds of the 21-day fix, she sent me a message and said, I just want to thank you because you have changed my life. And she said, I no longer use a wheelchair or a walker, and sometimes I only need to use a cane. So I've, she went from, I, who knows where, she would have maybe even digressed in her health, but she almost exploded that she couldn't, um, didn't need to use the wheelchair walker. That's changing not only her life, but her family's life. So that's one example um, of why this coaching opportunity has been a blessing for me. I have a servant's heart. And so being able to help people and serve them with the different products and programs and nutritional supplements, not only is a blessing to me, but it's a blessing to them. 
So that's my story that I like to share. So thank you all for taking time to listen to it. Another common question that we have is, well, how can we earn income or earn extra money as, with coaching? Now, there are lots of ways that we earn income. Um, some people jump into this with the expectation that they're going to make $500 in their first week. Now, that is something that with hard work could be done, but that's not the true expectation. Um, your goal should be each month is to try and help three people. What that's going to do is provide you enough income to pay for the products that you're using, like Shakeology. And with that extra, you might even actually earn a little bit extra income um, after paying for your own products. Now, I drink my Shakeology monthly, so that's a bonus for me that if I don't have to pay for it, it's like getting Shakeology for free. Um, we also earn a 25% commission on any of the products we sell. And depending on what products they purchase, we like to recommend challenge packs for people because that is the most successful tool that we have as coaches to help our customers achieve their goals. Depending on what challenge pack they purchase, they can earn any, you can earn anywhere between 40 and a hundred dollars. And there are different ways that you can advance in ranking to earn extra income based off the team cycle bonus. And that's based on your volume that you earn. You'll want to ask the coach that invited you what the team cycle bonus is because that's where the potential to earn a lot of income is. And that's where the residual growth is. As you rank, then you can earn also quarterly bonuses. Um, and that's anywhere from 1% or just under 1% up to 1.5% for the quarterly um, for the coaches. And of course, Beachbody does not guarantee a level of success or, or income, and it's all solely based on what your effort is and how hard you work the, the coaching opportunity. So I would like to turn it over to Joanne so she can share, share her story. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. Hi, um, I'm Joanne Bainey. I am also one of the Beachbody coaches, and I wanted to share my story. So like Deb and Mitch, um, mine started when 2008 with P90X, except for I didn't buy it, my son did. Um, he talked me into going down, coming downstairs here and um, doing the program with him. I finished the program, he didn't. <laughs> um, and I, at the end of each of the videos, it always said, go out and get yourself at teambeachbody.com a free coach. So guess what? That's what I did. And Kristen was my coach that I was assigned to. So uh, we've had a very long journey together. Um, so fast forward five years ago, I had been using many of the different programs, but I still hadn't really reached my weight goal. Um, my, both my sons were getting married, and I decided that it was time I get this weight off of me. So I did. Um, I lost 75 pounds. And then back in August of 2013, my um, Kristen, my coach, she posted something about the financial opportunity that you could have as being a coach. So. I decided that I think it was time for me to sign up. I had enough uh, videos out there of all the different products that it was time for me to, you know, to see what it was all about. So I did. I signed up and I felt that God brought me here for a reason because I've always struggled with my weight since I was a kid. And I've also seen many, many of my family members who have gained so much weight that, um, one member, she couldn't even get out of bed, and that's that's where she died, was in bed, because she was so overweight. So everyday things that we do, like walking, getting out of bed, those were struggles for them, and I just wanted to be able to help someone else to do that. So that's, that's my passion. That's why I signed up. And, of course, financial opportunity to help my husband and I when um, we reach retirement, that's, that's a big thing, too. So... Um, being a mother of two sons who are married, and I have uh, three wonderful grandchildren and another one on the way. So I want to be healthy for my grandchildren and be able to uh, run around with them and 
dance in the middle of the floor whenever they want to. And I can't do that unless I'm um, healthy. And coaching actually has, uh, you know, I'll gain a little bit of weight back, but I'm not nearly gained any of that 75 pounds back. I haven't come close to it. And if I wasn't coaching, I certainly would be doing that. So it's my passion to do this. I, I love the programs. I um, drink my Shakeology every day. I use the Boost and the uh, performance line. And um, I'm going to be 60 here in a couple of weeks. So don't think that just because you're older, you can't do it because you can. Um, I'm doing hammer and chisel right now, and I never would have thought I could do it at this age. So if I had one regret um, about coaching, it would be that I didn't do it sooner. Um, so I encourage you, if you want to do it, just sign up. If you don't do anything else, but um, do it for the discount to start your journey, do it that. You know, begin there and go from, from that point on. But, you know, don't wait as long as I did because <laughs> you'll regret it later that you did. Um, and my other thing that I love about coaching is all of my coach family. They're my family, and I, I love each of them dearly. And last year at Summit, I got to go to my first Summit. Um, in Nashville and I got to actually meet them personally and it uh I was so excited I I couldn't wait to see each of them so it's it's a great opportunity and I encourage you to to do it um one of the things that other questions that are asked is what how do you sign up what do you do so the first thing you need to do is decide what type of coach you want to be is it a hobby coach where you're just for right now getting the discount of 25% um, to consider your own journey to reach that? Or do you want to be a um, business builder where you're actually building the, like I am, you're building the, the business so that you can use it as financial freedom down the road. Um, once you make that decision, then you'll contact the coach that invited you here. They'll give you a link and help you to sign up. When you sign up, you will get the um, chance to buy a challenge pack, which I highly encourage you to do because that you're getting your Shakeology and you're getting a program. Um, like right now, the 21 Day Fix is $140. That's like getting Shakeology in the program for 10 bucks. So it's uh, a great chance to do that. Um, the other thing that you'll be charged is a $16 fee monthly for your websites, which Beachbody um, gives you three different websites that you can um, send people to and build your business that way. Um, if you are military, your um, current active uh, military or even a veteran, you get to get the uh, all the fees for coaching free and who doesn't like free stuff so you know that's a great opportunity in itself so um, I highly recommend it I love being a coach and I know that each of you will also it's um, it's not always easy and but it's well worth it so I'm going to turn this over now back to Kristen Awesome. Thank you so much for Joanne and um, also Deb and Mitch for sharing your stories tonight and a little bit of great information about coaching and what, um, you know, some things about it. I'm going to share my story now as well, um, give you a little bit of background about me. So again, my name is Kristen Hine. I'm a Star Diamond coach um, in Lincoln, Nebraska. I've been a coach for seven years. Um, in 2009, my husband and I started P90X and got great results, so we decided to cancel our gym membership and commit to doing the, the workout program. Um, shortly after that, we learned about the coaching opportunity, but I was hesitant because I didn't like the stigma of network marketing companies. Um, however, our sponsoring coach told us that Beachbody was actually different. It was actually about helping people and building relationships, um, not about being a pushy salesperson. So it just made sense uh, for us to get the discount. We we're already using the products, sharing our experience with our family and friends, so we went ahead and signed up. Now, a couple of years before this, I ended up getting really sick. Um, I was in the hospital, I had something called a C. difficile infection and was given the diagnosis of colitis. Um, a month after we became coaches, they released Shakeology. And I did a little research on it, learned about the digestive benefits that it was supposed to have, gave it a try, and I actually felt better. 
So within three months of um, starting using Shakeology, I was actually able to go off all of my prescription medications and have not had a flare up since. So it's been, you know, literally a, a internal um, health changing thing for me. Um, our goal, my husband and I as new coaches was simply to just do the workouts, um, buy supplements at the discount, and maybe earn enough money to pay for the products that we were using. So over the course of the first year, as we were coaches, we started meeting other coaches, um, lo attending local events, webinars, things like that. And we actually learned that there was more to it than just discount and a bunch of products. Um, there was actually a really great income potential. Now, I personally have always been a business owner. Um, from right out of high school until now, I'm 43 years old now, um, I've been in business. I owned a coffee shop uh, with my ex-husband, and I have a landscaping company that I've done now for 20 years. Um, as a result of being a business owner and not in the corporate environment, I've never had um, retirement accounts, and I had very little savings or any sort of emergency funds um, built up. So I knew that I needed to find another source of income for, for my long-term um, outlook. So another thing that I really liked about what I saw from the other coaches that I met was that this was really a way to give back to others and support them through their life journey. Now, a little bit about my background. Um, I'm, I'm an only child. Uh, I was raised by two alcoholic parents. My mother is also me mentally ill. Now, due to the daily chaos and verbal abuse um, that I went through when I was a kid growing up, by the time I graduated high school, I had very little self-worth. Um, I got married when I was 20 years old, and I went into business with my husband. Uh, I never have gone to college. I have no formal schooling in anything. Now, in 2003, uh, my father lost his battle with alcoholism. He actually took his own life and overdosed. Um, and at that time, my mother was no longer capable of managing her daily needs and her finances, so I had to make the decision to become her legal guardian. Uh, since then, I've moved her into four different assisted living facilities, and she was diagnosed just a couple years ago with Alzheimer's on top of everything else. So in managing all of her finances and all of this over the years, I've really had a hard look at what it costs to get old and have any sort of health complications, no matter what they are. Um, you know, her, her facility-only bills for one year in the skilled care facility that she lives on or, or in and now are around $80,000 a year. Um, I don't have, you know, when we started this, I didn't have savings or retirement. So looking at those numbers, I knew that there was just no way if something were to happen to me down the road that I was going to be able to swing it. Um, also in 2003, I went through divorce. Uh, I found myself on my own for my, the very first time in my life with very little dependable income. My, my landscaping company at the time was very, very small. It was still kind of a paid hobby. I had no savings, um, and I was shopping at the dollar store every day just to get, to get by. I was buying my groceries there. Um, not something I've shared very often. So I met my current husband, Pat, a couple of years later. We ended up getting married, and I um, became the official proud parent of a real red-headed stepchild, which I joke about because he is absolutely delightful. Um, I'm so proud of him and inspired by the things that he does in his daily life now. Um, so what the heck does all that have to do with Beachbody? You're probably wondering, right? My drama story and Beachbody coaching. So here's the link. Um, as a kid, I was always enjoyed, you know, sports and fitness stuff, um, and growing up into my twenties. Um, a number of years ago, I went through a personal trainer certification and also became a certified kickboxing instructor. But I never had time for it um, because I couldn't afford taking time away from my landscaping business in order to do that. The pay just wasn't there. Um, I realized that becoming a coach was actually a way I could get involved with the health and fitness industry and help others in their life journey, but work it around the business I was already running um, on my own hours. I don't personally have a major weight loss story or body transformation story, um, but what I do have is a life story. And to me, there's nothing better with, than sharing my story, uh, struggles and all, with somebody else who's looking for hope and direction in their life and seeing them start to make changes and improve in their own life. Your body and your current physical condition has nothing to do with your ability to become a coach or to be successful as a coach. Um, instead, it's actually your heart, your passion, 
and your own story that's going to guide you and that's what's going to be um, the thing that inspires others to join you so a few extra benefits that my husband and I have received as coaches that we were not planning on when we first signed up um, first of all I've actually been able to build um, both retirement and savings accounts um, that I will continue to work on for years to come for my future and for my family's future um, I'm actually earning a full-time income while I'm still running my landscaping business. That has helped us pay off credit card debt, um, pay for extra stuff such as family vacations, uh, car payments, our home property taxes, eating out, uh, electronics and things for our home, and uh, private baseball lessons and basketball lessons for my stepson. Uh, my husband Pat and I have also traveled a bunch with Beachbody. Beachbody has great trips and things that you can do as coaches. Uh, he and I have been to Los Angeles, um, I think two or three times. We've been to Vegas a few times. Uh, we've been to Nashville last summer. We're going again this coming summer for the annual Coach Summit. Uh, we've also taken a cruise to the Grand Cayman in Cozumel. Um, last spring we were in Cancun. And um, in March coming up here, we're going to be going on another cruise to Jamaica and the Bahamas. And that is all things that we would never have dreamed of doing in our life without becoming coaches. Um, it's also allowed us to take time off. As I said, my, my stepson's into sports. Um, and so uh, he is super busy. And um, his, the teams that he's been on the last couple of years are travel teams. So, you know, last, last uh, summer, for example, we were pretty much out of town from the beginning of March through the end of July every single weekend, um, traveling and supporting him with his sports and his, his teams and tournaments. And we were able to do that without having to think twice about the financial impact um, taking time off of work was going to have for our family. And last but not least, you know, as Joanne said earlier, um, gosh, the relationships and the friendships um, that I've built as a coach, you know, not only with my customers um, online, but the coaches all over the country on our team and off our team as well. Um, I could literally travel to any state in this country and know somebody. Um, it really gave me a sense of belonging and love and support that I didn't personally have when I was growing up. So I always like to say the worst thing that can happen when you become a coach is that you're going to get healthier from doing the workouts and you're going to make new friends. And how horrible is that? So I hope my story has inspired you to become a coach yourself or at least consider it and talk to the coach that invited you here tonight. Um, you know, I say give it a try and see what kind of a positive impact it could have on your life and your future. So I'm going to turn things back over to Deb to close us out. And then hopefully we haven't cut off line yet. Um, so <laughs> hopefully the recording will be good and I'll get that posted onto our Facebook event page um, later tonight or tomorrow morning. So Deb. Thanks, Kristen. So we want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we want to leave you with one final thought. What if you became a Team Beachbody coach? What if you became a coach? And you never made a, time, a dime, but you got healthier and happier. What if you became a coach and you were able to pay off debt or take your family on that vacation you've been dreaming of? What if you became a coach and you quit dreading going to work every Monday and found excitement in work as your own boss and setting your own hours? What if you were part of something bigger than you? What if you had the energy to play with your kids, volunteer at the school, coach the little league team, or go on impromptu dates with your spouse. We want to ask you, is what you're doing now really what you want out of life? What if you became a Team Beachbody coach to see where this opportunity can take you? What do you have to lose? So we're asking you, will you join our team? If you're ready to go, contact the coach that invited you here and they will get you started. And on behalf of the Team Transformation team, Beachbody team, we want to thank you for joining us. And we hope the information has been helpful, and we would love to welcome you to our team. Good night. Thanks, Deb, and thanks, everybody, for being here tonight. Um, and just a reminder, if anybody has questions on anything, hop over to the Facebook event page that we have set up. Feel free to post questions in there or to direct message the coach that invited you here tonight. And um, I'm going to try and get the recording done. And um, Again, thanks for taking your time out, and everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you later.